Hey, it's Doug, and this is Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today, I am hosting the Battle of the Blankets. In 2019, I was sent my very first piece of gear for review, and it was the Lazy Bear Blanket, a synthetic blanket that I considered taking with me on my Camino because it was fairly lightweight, very nice and comfy, and I thought it would be perfect for using on the Camino because there you don't necessarily need big heavy sleeping bags or quilts because you're going to be sleeping inside in quasi-climate controlled areas. However, I didn't get to go on my Camino. So this has basically become more of a family blanket. It's something I can take with me car camping and just kind of throw over as an extra layer if I need it. I have recently been sent two other blankets, one from the same company that made the Lazy Bear and another from Get Out Gear. And the difference with these blankets is that they are both down blankets instead of synthetic fill. Now, Big Blue Mountain, who makes the Lazy Bear, also makes this downed version. Both of these are pretty lightweight blankets, and the first thing I noticed was that it is quite a bit lighter. It's also a little different color. You've got black on the inside instead of gray. Same kind of blue on the outside. Like the Lazy Bear, it is nice and warm. If you saw my video, you know that I put that blanket through its paces by standing in a sub-zero freezer for five minutes, so I have no concern about the warmth factor of the blankets. Now, these blankets are not, obviously, to keep you comfortable in sub-zero conditions. Um, you can see by the loft on this blanket, it's not incredibly thick. It's going to be good for a cool night around the campfire, snuggling up to a movie in your living room. It makes a great extra warmth layer for a complete sleep system. So for example, let's say you grab your sleeping bag or quilt that's rated to around 50 or 60 degrees, and it ends up being a lot colder than you expected that night. Having an extra layer that you can just throw on over the top of it is really helpful. Another thing I noticed about the new blanket is that it has snaps on it. So you can actually snap this thing up nice and warm, feels good, and I've got this nice puffy ventilated poncho sort of thing that I'm wearing and my hands are still free. So overall I am impressed with the Big Blue Mountain's down version of the Lazy Bear Blanket. By the way, the founder of Big Blue Mountain, Adam Wheatley, is the admin on a great Facebook page called Hiking, Camping, Backpacking, Awesome Views. If you're into the outdoors and you want to see some great pictures and videos and gear reviews, I would definitely get on that Facebook page and check it out. Alright, so let's move on to Get Out Gear. It also has the snaps to make it into a kind of poncho. Like the Big Blue Mountain product, this is a 650 fill down blanket. And as you can see, it is nice and compact, especially when compared to something that is made of synthetic. But is it comfortable? Let's find out. First of all, love the color. I like bright gear, what can I say? So this is orange on both sides. It's actually a little see-through, I don't know if you can tell. But let's take a comfort test. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Not only is it lightweight and nice and warm and toasty, but the material on the outside is just really smooth. You can see it falls right off. <laughs> that's why you gotta have those snaps. Very, very comfortable. Just feels great against the skin. It is light, it is warm. In fact, standing in this room, I'm already too warm. The Get Out Gear blanket is a little bit smaller than the Big Blue Mountain, so there is a slight difference in size. Interestingly, they come in at the same weight. A couple other differences, the uh, Boofy blanket also has these thumb loops, and although both blankets are 20D nylon shell, which is giving it that nice soft feel, this one is actually coated with a durable water resistance so it is going to be okay if it gets spilled on or if you set it down in wet grass or if it gets a little rain. Uh, this is going to hold up pretty well. It is warm, cozy, feels nice, also makes it a great blanket for around the house. In fact, I had to basically steal this blanket back from my five-year-old who kind of decided it was his and it's been on his bed for weeks. If his opinion matters to you, he chose the orange blanket over the Lazy Bear, although I'm pretty sure he just likes the color better because they're basically made of the same material. So for under a pound, you can have a 650 fill down blanket comforter poncho with smooth as silk feeling outer layer of nylon. It is handy, it is comfortable, it is warm, it's going to work in a variety of situations, so I recommend it. I love this thing. 
So the big question is who wins the Battle of the Blankets? I have to say they are pretty darn similar. Both of them are actually extremely comfortable. They both have many of the same features, but again, a little bigger for the same weight, a little smaller, but perhaps a little more durable when it comes to moisture. Another factor to consider is that right now, Big Blue Mountain doesn't seem to be producing very many of these because they're currently unavailable on Amazon, whereas Get Out Gear is going after it. They're also producing some really innovative camp chairs, so I will put links in the description below to get either one of these. You can check them out for yourself. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, would you mind giving it a like? Make sure you're a subscriber if you're into camping, hiking, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Thank you so much for watching.